Welcome to 3D Online Tuition. It is a three-dimensional e-learning method based on audio, visual, and event. Chapter 1. Forces. 1.1. Introduction to Forces. 1.2. Balanced Forces. 1.3. Friction. 1.4. Gravity. 1.5. Air resistance. 1.6. Tension and upthrust. 1.7. Case study. Why some objects move in circles. 1.1. Introduction to forces. What is force? 1. A force is a push or a pull acting upon an object that may change its shape or the way that it moves. 2. Force can slow things down, change its moving direction, or stop them from moving. Force arrows. 1. A force can be represented as an arrow. The direction of the arrow shows the direction of the force. Different types of force, attracting and repelling. 1. Gravitational force is a force of gravity that attracts you to the Earth. The force of gravity acts between any objects that have mass. It is also called object's weight when it acted on an object on Earth. This gravitational force is acts towards the center of the Earth. Two. Electrostatic force is a static electricity that acts between objects that are charged. It can be created by rubbing two plastic objects or a plastic object with a cloth together. Once charged, they can attract or repel other charges objects. 3. Magnetic force is a force that acts between magnet and magnet and magnet with the magnetic materials such as iron, steel, and nickel. Magnetic force performed similar to the electrostatic force, in attract, or repel between magnet, and attract only with magnetic materials. Different types of force, force on moving objects. 1. Friction is a force, that slow down, or stop moving things. It acts on the opposition side of a moving objects. Air resistance, is a force that acts on any object that moving through air. Water resistance is a force acts on any object that moving through water. Air and water resistance creates drag, caused by the moving object collides with particles in the air, or in the water. The force that pushes a vehicle forward is called thrust. Different types of force, up thrust and tension. 1. When an object's floating in air, or water, a force called up thrust is pushing the object up. 2. Tension force is the force that is transmitted through a string, rope, cable, or wire, when it is pulled tight by forces acting from opposite ends. Measuring Forces 1. A force can be measured using forceometer, such as, a spring balance, or a compression balance. 2. Force are measured in unit called newtons, n. 3. The unit newton or kilogram force, is normally used in scientific investigations. 1 kilogram equals 10 newton. 1.2. Balanced forces. Balance and unbalanced forces. 1. Forces that are equal in size, but opposite in direction, are called balanced forces. Balanced forces do not cause a change in the motion of objects. 2. Examples of balanced forces are, a ship floating in the water, a book rest on a table, and a person sitting on a chair. 3. Forces that cause a change in motion of objects, are called unbalanced forces. Unbalanced forces can change the motion of an object in two ways. a. Change in direction, for example from stationary to moving. b. Change in speed. For example, slow down or accelerating. 4. Examples of unbalanced forces are pushing a trolley, a person cycling a bicycle, and airplane flying in the air. 1.3. Friction. What is friction? 1. 
Friction is the force opposes the motion of an object. Friction can slow down moving objects. 2. In order to move an object forward, the force that pushes the object must be bigger than the friction forces that acts on the opposite side. Four types of friction. 1. Static friction is a force that keeps an object at rest. 2. Sliding friction is the resistance created by any two objects when sliding against each other. It is also known as kinetic friction. 3. Rolling friction is the force resisting the motion when a body, such as a ball, tire, or wheel, rolls on a surface. 4. Fluid friction is the force that resists the movement of a solid object through a fluid. For example, liquid or gas. 1.4 Gravity. The force of gravity. 1. The force of gravity is the force that attracts a body towards the center of the Earth, or towards any other physical body having mass. 2. The size of the force of gravity between two objects depends on a. The mass of the two objects, b. The distance between the two objects. Weight and mass. 1. Weight of an object, is the pulling force of the Earth's gravity on the object. Weight measured in Newtons, n, using a spring balance, or a compression balance. Weight is not constant, and is different from places to places. 2. Mass of an object, is the quantity of matter, contained in the object. Mass measured in kilograms, kg, using a lever balance, or a beam balance. Mass is constant in any places. 1.5. Air resistance. What is air resistance? 1. Air resistance is the force that resists the movement of a solid object through air. 2. Air resistance happens when an object moving through the air is colliding with the particles in the air. This collisions with air particles provide the resistance force on the opposite direction of the moving object. 3. Air resistance is affected by the speed of the object moving through the air. The higher the speed of the object will experience higher air resistance. Reducing air resistance. 1. Air resistance can be reduced by two ways. A. Reducing the area of contact with the air, for example by the cyclist ducking down or cycling behind someone else, and B. By being more streamlined, for example wearing smoother surfaces or a more streamlined helmet. 1.5. Air resistance. Using air resistance. 1. Air resistance can be useful in slowing things down, such a parachute. Parachute works in using a larger area of contact with the air to increase the air resistance. 2. When a parachutist jumps out of a plane, he accelerates towards the ground because of the force of gravity acting on him. As he speeds up, the air resistance increases until it balances his weight that caused by the force of gravity. Then, he was falls with a constant speed, called terminal velocity, approximate 190 to 195 km per hour. 3. When he opens the parachute, the parachute suddenly increased the area of contact with air, thus, increased the air resistance. Now this additional of air resistance is slowing down the falls of the parachutist, to a new and slower terminal velocity, approximate 28 km per hour, for the parachutist to land safely. 1.6. Tension and upthrust. Under tension. 1. Tension happens in rope, string, cable, or wire, when force generated along its length when it is pulled tight, by forces acting from the opposite ends. 2. As the rope, string, cable, or wire pulled, the particles inside, are moving apart. The tension force that feel, is the force of attraction, pulling the particles back again. Elastic bands and bungees. 1. Elastic material, like bungee cord, can be stretched a very long way, by external force, and will go back to its original length. When the external force removed, the amount that it stretches is called extension. Stretching a spring. 1. Spring can be stretched to produce extension. A bigger force will produce a bigger extension. The extension is proportional to the force. 2. 
when more force, apply to the spring, until it's reach its elastic limit, the spring cannot spring back to its original length, and it is permanently extended. Why do things float? 1. When a ship floating in the water, there is a force, called upthrust, from the water pushing the ship up. This upthrust, which is caused by the water particles collide with the bottom of the ship, balances the ship's weight and make it floats. 2. An object, is weightless when it is underwater, because of the upthrust, can be explained by the Archimedes principle. 1.7. Case study. Why some objects move in circles. A force that changes direction. 1. If an object is moving along, untouched by a force of any kind, it will continue to move along, in a perfectly straight line, at a constant speed. This type of action is actually called, the Newton's first law. 2. When a force, acted on a moving object, that are moving in a straight line, from the side way, it will cause the object moving in a circle. Centripetal force. 1. Centripetal force, is a force that keeps an object moving in a circle. 2. The direction of the centripetal force, is always toward the center of the circle. It is always at the right angles, 90 degrees, to the direction of motion of the object. Happy learning!